Hey guys, welcome back to the 997 engine build project. We just completed attaching the heads to the case and now we're gonna start putting the stuff inside the heads. So this looks familiar. This is where we ended up in the last video. So next we're gonna put the lifter carrier in here. So that's gonna go over all of the valves and valve springs. And that's this guy right here, and the lifters are going to go inside here, and we're going to bolt that down. But first, before we do that, we're going to talk about all of the parts in this video. So you can see on these caps right under where it says 2A is 48702 etched in there. And if you come over to the head right in this corner, let me flip it over so you can read it, and focus 48702. So laid out on the table are all the parts that we're going to be using for this. So in the next video, we will actually be installing all of this stuff, but we just want to go over the parts right now and talk about them. And we're going to try to figure out what we need to replace. So let's talk right. about this first. So this is, this is the lifter cradle. Um, it holds the hydraulic lifters in place. Uh, you can see it, and we haven't done anything uh, to clean it, but for the 997 engine, uh, the bank one and bank two, this is one of the very few pieces that is interchangeable. It's just one part number. Um, this engine had 130,000 miles. Uh, while we were wishful thinking that we wouldn't replace it, uh, Aaron and I made a decision to <laughs> actually replace it, and we'll, we'll show you why, uh, and, it, and it totally makes sense. So part number is right there you get the original uh part so a couple of things uh i can tell you right now just by looking at it this is the exhaust this is the exhaust port this is the intake port why is that well the exhaust lifters are nice round and smooth and they go in there nice round and smooth on, on every single one of these right and they go in there nicely the intake uh ones since this has the vario cam plus they're um, indexed. Uh, they have this little index, and you can see the wear marks on it. And so it um, it goes up and down depending on which uh, you know which cam you uh, you know the, 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 uh, they they ride on either they ride on this cam or they ride on that cam. Uh, mean that profile. I'm sorry, on the cam. Um, in this particular case, the index. So so these. I'm sorry. The exhaust. Uh, uh, lifters lifters uh, will go around and you can see by the wear marks they you know they 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 turn around it evens out the wear they they're free to spin the intake ones are indexed they have a little index here because they can't spin because of their shape and the way they oops the way they go uh, the way they go on this cradle um, it needs to hit it just here right there's a little curvature to it and so there is an index the reason Aaron and I decided to go with a new cradle is because when you look at um, the index where, where these uh, are, are indexed, it's worn. It's uh, it sort of widened that index, uh, which is a natural consequence. You know, it's aluminum, very light. Uh, those, I presume, are steel. Um, and even though the wear pattern might be acceptable on what would be the wall, that index wear uh, led us to... Uh, believe I don't know if you want to get a shot there. Uh, led us to the conclusion that we should get a new cradle. Now we put it out <laughs> to our friends, the experts, whether we should. Now this is a very expensive piece. Um, you can find it online anywhere from you know, up to eight hundred bucks per side, and you need two of them. So not an easy decision. Uh, the other decision is on the lifters. Uh, these lifters have somewhere you can see. Uh, the wear there, and they have wear on the edges, on the sort of the body of it, uh, and by the indexer. I think we're going to need to replace them. Looking for some input, uh, but that is we're going to need twelve of those, right? Uh, and uh, they're uh, I don't know, 150, 200 bucks a pop. Um, and if we replace this and these, we're going to replace the. Uh, exhaust ones too. These are closer to 20 bucks a pop, but we cleaned them. We've kept them in order. We're waiting for um, some feedback from the experts, but it sort of looks like we're 
going to be headed in that direction. Yes, yeah, so it doesn't sound super expensive until you multiply everything by 12, and then <laughs> it adds up. So if you guys have any opinions on whether or not you would reuse these, uh, let us know in the comments. Let us Yeah, because we know. can give you a great deal on a set. Yeah. That's what I'm so, thinking. So for those of you, if you convince us to replace them, we'll replace them. And for those of you that say you don't need to replace them, well, put your money where your mouth is and, <laughs> and buy these. Help us buy one or two of them. Yeah. All right, so this, each cradle is held down to the head with 11 bolts. And I had Aaron count it two or three times because I'm like, 11, that makes no sense. Well, there's five in the middle and six uh, on the outside. So um, that was very easy. Uh, the, these are the cam holders and you will see- Caps. Oh, cam caps, yeah. You, and, and they're sort of uh, arranged in place the way they were taken out. This is all bank one stuff. Uh, and each one of these is going to have an identifier, right? That's going to say A is for the exhaust. Yes. Right? A in German. Uh, oh, exhaust. Ausfall. Yes. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So you know I remember. Yeah. It's, it's because when I first saw it, it was funny. <laughs> exhaust, Ausfall. I don't think we need to elaborate any more on that, do we? Or do we? Yeah. No, no, okay, all right. So A is uh, Ausfahrt and um, E is uh, intake. Uh, so th they have a letter and then they have a number. That number is indexed to the head. And I think um, Aaron is gonna insert, uh, you know, a, an identifier where in the head uh, that is, but it's it's very easy to, to distinguish them. These, these have equal length bolts here. Um, here's a, a, an exhaust and here's the um, intake, I believe, yeah. Oh no, this, this holds the, yeah, the intake, uh, the big sleeve uh, over here. And then there is a, a timing chain adjuster, which is gonna be replaced. These are all the parts from the original engine, uh, but these two bolts will hold that uh, down in place. And I believe it's actually in this direction, Aaron, but whatever. Could be. Yeah. Could be so, so these are these are going to go. Um, these are going to go. Um, holding down the chain, holding down these. But again, organizing these parts, cleaning them. We we are of course going to clean these. We are not going to buy new ones of these because these are machined precisely to match these caps, precisely to match the head. And luckily, you know, they weren't damaged. They're just a little bit dirty. We're going to clean those before we install them. I think we have a new one of these. We absolutely do. We absolutely do. That, you can see, has nice grooves in yeah. it from the chain. And, I mean, it still has a little it. bit of life, but of course, we're going uh, to replace them. Um, the other thing I wanted to point out is that the bolts that hold these in are all, I think, 30 millimeter, maybe? And then there are two of them that are 35 millimeter, or yeah, by the time five millimeters guys... bigger. See that? So the reason that they're bigger is because they also have to capture this guy, mm -hmm. which is an extra five millimeters. So they end up being the same length once they are installed. Um, but uh, yeah, so the two longer ones, that's why they're longer. That's where they go. All right. Camshafts. Camshafts. <laughs> so this engine is a Vario Cam Plus, is that correct? Yes. Vario yes. Cam Plus engine. So you have a cam profile that has doubled up lobes uh, and an exhaust uh, cam uh, with a profile that's go this way, uh, that is not doubled up. Uh, you know, just a single uh, set of um, see how they're lobes. lobes. Yep. So why is that? Well, it's the Vario cam. And we've already taken the uh, bolt off of this. This is what it looks like. This is um, assembled. Uh, looks like, yeah, this is assembled and this is for bank two. We're keeping the bank two stuff over here. We're gonna clean it, organize it, and make it all pretty. Uh, we're gonna end up assembling bank one first, completing that um, and doing some stuff to it. And then we're gonna assemble bank two and then we're gonna work on the timing, which is the most critical part of, of the build. Uh, it seems like every part is the most critical part of the build, <laughs> like putting the rings in, bank two pistons, all that stuff. But, yeah. Let's talk about these parts. Oh yeah. This thing is called a, what? A vein something? Yeah. It, it's it's actually what, um, it has gears inside or something and it adjusts the, uh, 
the timing. It works in sync with, with these lobes. Do not mess with big, <laughs> do not mess with it. Do not try to clean it with solvents. Uh, don't clean it with anything other than oil. If you open this up and try to put it back together, I heard it's a, a fairly difficult task. And on eBay, these go for about 800 bucks. I think they are about a thousand bucks, just mm. this little sandwich. Not that you need anything more to spend your money on. Well, leave it alone and don't submerge it yeah. in stuff. Unless, unless you've had like a major catastrophic failure. So, um, and how do you know, uh, Aaron, how do you know that this <laughs> is for bank one? Well, it says so right there. One. Zylinder one through three. Yes, so All right. that's bank one. And of course this one says four dash six on it. So you can't mess those up. Yep. The other thing is um, the Barricam uh, that this goes on has its part number here, which is distinct. This is a, a bank one, which is distinct from the part number you have over here. All right. Um, let's see what else. Uh, oh, so this uh, this has a couple of, of, of implements. This is a C-ring. Um, they sell they sell this as a consumable part, but um, I'm we're gonna keep these. Uh, this is a sleeve that goes here, right? And you have to index it properly, um, and then you have to squeeze these. And you know when we assemble it, we'll put it. That's kind of like piston rings. So you got yeah, to squeeze, squeeze them, them to put it in, that slide down. that thing in. Yep. And so there, there's this this one has some groove marks. This is like about a hundred bucks. So again, just add it to the tab. <laughs> um, when it's all assembled, it looks like this, uh, right? Uh, and this is bolted down by that, right? Um, let's see, there are other parts that are very important and consumable. So there is a diamond washer or something like that. Yeah, that's what I've heard. It's, it's, it's super duper, it's super duper thin. Uh, again, replaceable, this is not that expensive. Do not forget it when you're assembling this. I'm gonna put this part in. Um, this, this is a holder that goes over here. This part is reusable. Um, we understand. Yeah. And this, then the bolt that holds it there. This particular bolt is a consumable. It's twenty dollars or something like that. We'll put the part numbers and everything. So we're we're gonna have to get a new one of these uh, bolts. I guess that's a known issue that they can start becoming loose and then <laughs> throws off all your deviations and bad things can happen. So we're gonna have to buy one of those. We didn't before, but um, let's see. And that, obviously this is the intake, right? With all the crazy lobes uh, on it. And it's pretty cool because, you know, the, the, this hat, like the peak of this lobe is slightly at a different timing than this. This is obviously, you know, making the exhaust valves go all, you know, very deep. And this is sort of a more shallow uh, profile. And each one of these has that. This this is in pretty good shape, even for the mileage. Uh, this is the exhaust camshaft, right? And, you know, we'll we'll talk about the timing. We This is, we've loosened this up. Um, and the, the slots are in there so that when you do time it, you can use this mm -hmm. to time it. And then you'll... Again, tighten these bolts up once it's timed properly. Fun fact, uh, that Aaron and I looked at this. This is, again, a stock uh, 997 3.8 uh, engine from a Carrera S. This is the exhaust, bank one, right? The part number starts with a 996, goes all the way through, and it says one through three. What we found out is the exhaust on bank two. Where's the part number? Uh, this is exhaust 997 something 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 4 6. Isn't that weird? Same same thing, same concept. Uh, but yeah. So, uh, yeah, we, we await your comments. Uh, we are going to replace the cradle. I think, unless we hear otherwise, we're probably going to replace all of the tappets. Ouch. Um, we are going to put a new sleeve, new bolt. Uh, new cam timing chain. Uh, these bolts are reusable, uh, so we're just going to clean them up super nice and put them in. 
And uh, yeah, can't wait to see you guys on the other side of this when we're actually putting this stuff together. Got to place an order, got to drain our bank accounts one more time. Um, good thing Aaron and I are in this together because it's only half as painful, but uh, yeah. Anything else that we forgot about Aaron at this point? Nope, just a uh, like button. Push the like button, don't forget that. And leave some comments, let us know if you agree with replacing these parts and we'll see you on the install.